I lost my grandfather to prostate cancer. Um, he is one of those stubborn farmers from the prairies that uh, thought doctors were ridiculous and hospitals were even worse. He was far too along with his prostate cancer to do anything about it before he got checked. My husband's uncle is a survivor of uh, prostate cancer and I think for every uh, one of us we have a loved one, father, uh, brother, husband, uh, friends, family. You know, everybody's uh, touched by this. Um, the impact that Ride for Dad leaves on the community has been, I think, overwhelming. I get people talk to me all the time about the fact that they went and talked to their doctor about prostate cancer specifically. Just talking about their health. Men are terrible about going to doctors, and they're even worse about if it has to do with anything down below. So we don't want to have to have that conversation if we don't have to. So if we can encourage guys to do that, and I know that we have, um, then, then we're succeeding. That, that's our goal. That's what we're looking for. The more that we get the word out there and talk about it, the more it's on people's minds and in conversations, because 90% of prostate cancer is treatable if it's caught early, so awareness is key. What I love about this event is it's growing each year. From the first year we started off small and each year we just get more and more support. The first couple of years we have varied board members who know different businesses and we would hook up with our connections and, and then as Ride for Dad has gotten bigger, a lot of businesses have come to us and said, you know what, I like what you're doing, I want to be part of it. I think when, when you see over the last couple of years the impact that uh, Ride for Dad has had, particularly locally here in the territory, you can compare it to any other jurisdiction in, in Canada and I would argue that, uh, that we are definitely punching above our weight here. And last year we saw almost 200 riders come out and for a group of guys to come together uh, for a great cause like uh, the Ride for Dad is, uh, for me it's significant and it's just something that I wanted to be a part of. Ride for Dad is a great organization that really gives back. Uh, all the money that we raise um, stays here in the territory. We spend about half of our money on awareness, the other half we're building a nest egg so we can use it for research and treatment options for Yukon men, for Yukon families. Whitehorse is the best place in Canada in the world to live, so uh, how can you not enjoy uh, the Ride for Dad in this awesome outdoor heaven that we have? There's, there's something very exhilarating about you know, being amongst 200 other riders driving through the mountains with all of these people who are there not just to enjoy a ride on a beautiful day but to support a great cause. It's exhilarating to do that as a group here in this beautiful, beautiful territory.